our Bible study, Fatalo Fatu Le Nea Fiafi, and the Fa'awa we know the title, A Onga Tu with the with a series that we're running through at the moment is the Trinity series. Um, yeah, for the title Bible study, Leo Lo O Fa'au Tu Ile Lea Tua Tolu Tasi Pa'ia. So um, we're going to pray uh, and then we will start uh, this evening. So great to have everyone here. Let us pray. Father, we continue to declare your praise uh, that the sun, moon and the stars and the heavens and the earth declares your praises uh, that we as uh, humans who have been created in your likeness um, we too come with uh, praise and adoration of your name. Glory be to the name of our God from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. The psalmist says the Lord's name is to be praised. And so Lord in awe and in wonder of who you are we humbly come at this time in the study of your word uh, to know you more, to love you more, to worship you more uh, through the scriptures Lord Father God and the insights and the encouragement and the convictions that we are uh, that we have when we, whenever we come to your word. And so, Lord, bless this time of study in the fellowship of the believers and the edification of our Christian brethren, Lord Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, so, uh, just to recap uh, the introduction that we did the last time uh, with regards to the Trinity. Uh, that when we look at the Trinity, um, we look at the Hebrew word Elohim. And Elohim is a plural noun. So um, when we understand um, that, that word or that reference to who God is and the Hebrew word Elohim, it's a plural word for the word God, that he is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we see that in the New Testament. We, in our previous study, we were able to look at Old Testament scriptures that spoke to uh, the eternal triune Godhead. And then we looked at the New Testament scriptures to look at the eternal triune Godhead as well. And one of the most famous scriptures was the Matthew 3, 16, 17. And uh, so I put it there in our uh, printouts today. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this is a New Testament scripture that articulates clearly the eternal triune God. The God the Father, we see that in the voice from heaven. Uh, Jesus himself, the one that's been baptized and also the Holy Spirit descending like a dove. And so that was an introduction to the Trinity. So tonight we're going to look at um, the, the first person of the Trinity, or the Godhead, um, and that is God the Father, and I've broken it down into four um, sort of areas. The study of God the Father is massive, um, and so that'll probably take a whole year anyway. Um, but here are just some really key main points to help us gain, gain some insights into who is God the Father, or the first person of the eternal triune God. So, um, because again, we come back, um, we, we are studying the scriptures, we go back to reference the scriptures as a church, uh, as the reason why we as a church exist. Um, and this is one of the core doctrines, and that's around the Trinitarian God, or God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Those are common phrases we hear as Christians, uh, but how do we study those concepts or begin to understand those concepts um, in an individual form as well? So today we're going to look at God 
the Father is a good place to start. So uh, we're going to ask you to use your script, uh, your Bibles today. So we'll go through those four parts um, and we'll go through all of the scriptures at the same time. So hopefully um, you can turn to those pages uh, prior to us reading it. So Oliver, so when we look at the first part of God the Father, God the Father is the first person of the Trinity. Um, and so we're going to read 1 Corinthians 8 uh, verse 6. Um, if we have uh, the Psalm 1 uh, Bible readers, please, if you can read verse 6. Psalm 1 Bible readers, if you can read verse 6. Psalm 1 Bible readers, if you can read verse 6. Psalm 1 Bible readers, so Olea Olo Tara Noa Paulo in a Kalesia e Coronito, Famaya Paulo Ya Coronito, I peta e Uaya Tita to Lea Tua e Totasi, Oleta Ma Ia. So I ile mata upu lea e fa atatau i lea tua le tama o lo fa manatu e paulo ya koranito o ia o lea tua to atasi o le tama ia e fua mai ya te ia mea uma. So let us read the words of Paul to the church in Corinth uh, in verse 6 of chapter 8. Uh, New King James Version, ia, yet for us there is one God the Father of whom are all things, and we for him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and through whom we live. So the first part of our study tonight is understanding that God is the first person of the eternal trinity. And so here, Paul clearly writes, uh, for us there is one God, the Father of whom are all all things and so we'll talk about the all things in the point uh, second point underneath but here I want to look at God the Father in relation to the other two persons of the triune Godhead uh, and so he is God the Father uh, and we look at the submissive relationship between the Son and the Father and also the submissive relationship between the Holy Spirit and the Father Ile fa mua mua ole a tua le tama ile tolu tasi pa ia ta tu te va ava aia i fo i ile ile va ole a tua le alu ma le a tua le tama ma le va ole a tua le ngano pa ia ma le a tua a. So we're just going to look at those two scriptures in Luke twenty two forty two uh, and also John fourteen uh, sixteen seventeen. I might ask anyone got their Luke book. Uh, for the fella, cool. Uh, Luca, I feel yellow to see from my boy, mom. Yep, mom. Okay, let's have a look at um, Luke. Uh, fella's gonna read Luke for us, and Tina's gonna read. And we're gonna look here at the submissive relationship between the Father, uh, God the Father, and God the Son. Thanks, Father. Uh, Luke 22 42, uh, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Okay, here we have Jesus in his final night before he is crucified um, and his submission to the Father. And again, here we see that the Father is the first person of the Trinity and the submission yeah. of the Son to the Father, even yeah. though the Son is also God, mm -hmm. but we see that his, submiss his submissiveness, the example of humility, to the Father. We see it in the picture of the Trinitarian God. See if I tell my father more let's see now. Look at us from a new faith with us in a new. Upa peat. Lo utama hai. A efi nangalo yai. 
So ita to te ba ye ne ba ne a ine le tua le alo ma le tua le tama ha a e ba ba ai le ba ne na ma le usi usi ta i le usi ta i a e le tua le alo o le tua le tama e te ba ai ai le fa mua mua e le atali i o le tua le tama so. We see here, even in the relationship between God the Father and God the Son, the submiss the submission of Christ to God the Father uh, affirms that He is the first person of the Trinity. Does that make sense? Ah, so that's some scriptures that refers to um, that part of our study. Um, John fourteen. Ness, do you have John fourteen for us, please, sis? Yeah. Tina fale fa mo mo le te a fayo ya te oile Yoanne. Yoanne se fulu mo le fa. And here we're going to look at not only is the submission of God the Son to the Father affirms that God the Father is the first person of the Trinity, but we also see the submission of the Holy Spirit to the Father. Okay. So let us read uh, John fourteen. Um, John 14 verses 16 to 17 And I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it is neither it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you Amen. So if we read the English, it says, Jesus, this is Jesus' words. He goes, I will pray the Father. So again, he's submitting to the Father. And he will give you another helper. So again, the Holy Spirit doesn't move until the Father waits for the Son. And then he gives the Holy Spirit to the to help the disciples and the birth of the church. So we see here the submission of not just the Son, but the submission of the Holy Spirit. To who? The first person of the Trinity, the Father. So again, it's affirming the position of God, the Father. Of Tai Lava Fale, Yuanina Sumo Fa, Amen. So I So Noa so so so, again, confirming that God the Father is the first person of the eternal triune God or the Holy Trinity. Those are some of the scriptures that refer to, again, that God is the creator of all things. Number two, the submission of God the Son. Number three, the submission of God the Holy Spirit. So it's wonderful that even in the 
the relationships between the, the, the triune God, like if we look at this this uh, diagram that Sunday School used as well, uh, we see that the Holy Spirit is submissive to the Son, right? and then the Son is submissive to God the Father, and the Holy Spirit is submissive to God the Father as well. So that relationship there is an example for us in terms of our relationship with the eternal God. That's point number one today, my Lord. Okay, point number two, that God the Father is the creator of all things. So we see the story of creation in Genesis 1, verses 1 to 31, but we're going to read Psalms 90 uh, as, a, as, a, as a reference to God the Father being the creator of all things. So, so this is talking about God creator. We're going to use the, uh, the text of Psalms 90 and we'll also use the text of Ephesians chapter 3. Uh, to buy a few of Psalms 90 and Oli. If you also have Psalms 90 in Psalm 1, Fa'un Mole Lava Oli, Sefe Tamela Oli, and then we'll hand it over to Tupai to read in English, please. Psalm 90, verse 1. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. And oh, sorry, guys. And verse 2, please. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Okay, here it talks about God creator. Mm -hmm. ah, and so when the psalmist says there, that's, that's um, Moses himself, and this being the oldest psalms and all of the psalms put together, uh, and Moses declares that, Lord, you have been our dwelling place for all generations before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Acknowledging the eternality of God the Father. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> E Yesu Keriso o iolo tala noai Paulo ile me lilo sana tia a ile mata upo ifata tau ya Yesu Keriso afa mai ifata tau ile atua le a na ya faya me a uma lava ha pe yole fama mafana te fia au mai ile tusina um a Paulo ile e kalesi ya e feso na afa mai ya sana tia Yesu il tamu le amatanga a o Yesu o le me a lilo sana tia I found my Ilefina Nalo Lea Tua, and I found my son Atia Talu, my to Pulanga Namua Elea Tua, Ole Nafaya Mea Uma Lava, E Yesu Keriso. So, E Oya Yesu Keriso, Sayai Oya, Ile Fofuanga, Ole Lalo Lani. So, in, in the fact that God is the creator of all things, uh, Paul also introduces that uh, to us in Ephesians 3, chapter 9. Actually, I might read it from also, uh, from from verse eight, uh, the Ephesians three, verse eight and nine. To me, who I am less than the least of all the saints, 
This grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ mm. and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God who created all things through Jesus Christ. And so here uh, Paul is making reference with regards to the mystery of the person of Jesus Christ. But he's saying there and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the ages had been hidden in God who created all things. So here again we're talking about the fact that God the Father is also the God who created all things. Ah. So that's a, a second point about God the Father that I wanted to bring today. So we're talking about the Trinity, we're talking about the fact that he is the first person of the Trinity, and now we also acknowledge that God the Father is the creator of all things. But Paul acknowledges that even in the beginning while he was creating all things, Christ was there also. Ah, and he was there in the form of the spoken word. So we, we acknowledge that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So those are a couple of things as introductions tonight with regards to who God the Father is. I think it's always um, important that we understand these core doctrines, uh, understanding who he is as God. Sometimes we think, oh yeah, God, yeah, we know God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But the more we get into the, the riches of his word, we understand the depths and wonder of who he is. Number three, I want to talk about here is, it's his sovereignty ah, over all things. So um, I've called this part that God the Father is the ruler of all things. Okay, so Romans 11, and this is a famous doxology that we love to read when we come to it. Um, and it declares the glory of the sovereignty of our God. Uh, Ele <laughs> Ma'u <laughs> A toa malesi la fanga aleatua ele masu esu eina ana fa misinonga ele ma fai ona iloa ona ala a ema na tu natu imea etu tupu mai le temi na four four ina ele atua le la lulangi e o o mai ilana fa aula tanga ele ma fai e upu ona fa amatala tala ina te masu esu eina le pule sili sili ese o le atua. Okay, so um, in summary, in Psalm 1 there, I just said, in, uh, what I said in Psalm 1 was that from creation to providence to redemption, we can never begin to understand the the fact that he rules all things. That you, you know, a lot of people might say, oh, it was fate. Hey, but no, we believe that there is a God who is sovereign. Uh, his providence is what we see every single day. Ah, so we may think that it oh, it just happened for the sake that it happened. Uh, but we trust that everything happens for a reason. And so this is where we read um, the wonders of our God in this doxology of Paul. Uh, New King James Bible readers, let us read together. O ya 
Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has become his counsellor, or who has first given to him, and it shall be repaid to him. For of him, and through him, and to him are all things, to whom be glory for ever. Amen. That's the God that we serve. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That when we think about um, his sovereignty, when we think about that, um, I love that verse 36, for, for of him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. And that's, I, and that's a reminder of God the Father that you serve. Ah, the first person of the Trinity. That in his sovereignty, in his providence, the fact that from creation to redemption, he is God. Amen? Amen. So that should be encouraging for us. That alone should be our encouragement to know that he is sovereign. And then the final part, we've talked today about um, the first three things. He is the first person of the Trinity. Second, he is the creator of all things. Third, he is the ruler of all things. He is he is uh, his, from creation to providence to redemption. He rules in all things and in all ways. And to him be all the glory. The last part is my favorite part, and that's his fatherhood. O le tama fo ilia o tamata umalaba o le pule imea umalaba o le uayai imea umalaba o lo oitotonu fo iyati o to uma so o iyo lo tala noai baulo iyalana tustu singa iefe so o le tu o le tama o iyo o le tama o o tamata o la uma ah so o le fa mai o iyo o le tama um o iyo o le tama nati loa so when we look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6, and um, if you read that carefully, it says there, uh, actually I'll read from verse 4, there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. And there Paul is acknowledging who God is. Uh, but while he is acknowledging who God is, he is saying that there is only one God, there is only one faith, one baptism, and he says, and one God and Father of all. He is saying that he is the God who created all of mankind. Ah, so he is the God creator. So here Paul is saying that the God and the Father of the human race is the one who created the human race, but he is the only, but he is only spiritual father to believers, and that's the three scriptures that you see um, that I put at the end of this uh, of our notes. Are. So let's talk about his fatherhood. So he is spiritual father only to the believers, because uh, the opposite will be the non-believers, and their father is who? The devil. So God is the spiritual father. So there's the father to all men that's acknowledging that he created mankind. Um, that's what it, that's what Paul is acknowledging in Ephesians 4, 6. But he is spiritual father only to those who believe. Because remember what Jesus said to the Pharisees? You are liars, just like your father the devil. Yeah, so we see that there is a clearly a, a delineation between non believers and believers. So, praise God, as believers, we are children of the Father. So, let's look at these three verses Romans 8, <clears throat> and this is a, a beautiful verse that we all know as well and we're blessed by. So, Romans 8, uh, Nan, do you have that verse for us, please? Um, and mum, if you have Romans 8, come on, morning, if I saw more, or my value, faith was from afar, from Alina, if mum can read the Psalm 1 first, and then we'll have Nan read the English for us, please. 
so ele tangata olona tama ona oleva lata lata dia ole tangata ilona tama lela fa na yeya paulo e fa pena lata to tama fai ile tu ole tama wa tato wa wa yele va lata lata lava la lena o ita to male tu ole tama e ba fa yeyo na tato va la au aba a ye pol fa samo aba a tama Thanks, Nan. If you can read that for us, please. Romans 8, verse 2 to 13. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the Spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the Spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Amen. Amen. And the word here, um, Abba, is an Aramaic word which is not translated in our English Bibles, mm. but it, um, the meaning of Abba is an expressed affection, confidence, and trust in one's Father. Mm. Yeah. And so it, it's, it has, uh, I've heard other preachers use the word, it's very close to the word Daddy, uh, you know, when we call our Father's Dad, because mm. it shows the closeness of the relationship between the one who's saying dad to the one who is dad. Um, mm. So uh, and so that's the that's the the meaning behind that or that sits behind the word Abba, um, Father. It's showing that expression of affection between one who loves. And I love the fact that here Paul is writing to the church in Rome and uh, in Rome, and he says um, that we are now led by the Spirit. We are now sons of God. Therefore, you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption. And, and sometimes we, we forget that. And, and may it be a word of encouragement today that when we do the study of God the Father, that it's the most highest privilege for us to be called children of the God creator, God sovereign, God, the first person of the Trinity that God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit submit to, and yet we can say, Abba. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's like, man, that's just out, out of our minds. It, it just, it, it's unreal because we are so unworthy. Mm -hmm. And yet the Bible says, but we no longer have the spirit of fear, but the spirit in which we can call out, Abba. Mm -hmm. uh, and isn't that... Isn't that the picture of grace? Mm -hmm. that, that's totally the picture of grace. Mm -hmm. Let's look at John 1 verse 12. And John 1 verse 12 also expresses uh, the heart of uh, one who is now called a child of God. It says there, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. And that's you and I. Huh? We believe in his name, and it, we are so undeserving, yet the Bible says we're given the right. We're now adopted. Do you know what adopted means? It means that you have exactly the same rights as one who was born in by blood. That's us. And especially us in the form of Gentiles. Ah, that we've been adopted. That we, because of Christ, we now have the same access as the Jews have to God the Father. We have the right. 
Praise the Lord. And so when you think about God the Father, who he is, he's creator, he's the ruler, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they all submit to him. And yet here we have it. We have been given that privilege. We have been given that right. So such an amazing reality for believers. Now let's all turn to our final text there before we finish off with First John. But Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12. And I might ask Brother Alter to read verses 5 through to 9. If you want to talk to you, I 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 want to talk to you. For me, I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you. Pongalo fo ya te oto wa poko inga lo fetala e maya ya te oto pe ona ta utala e fa nao lo watali e awa le fa ata uva ai lo manatu le awa inga ale ali awa fo ile fa awa i bai pe a awa inga o e e ia awa o le wa lo fa nia e le ali wa awa ya tu o ia ya te ia wa sasa ina fo i e ia tali uma wa tali ia e ia. A fai e talia o tou le a oa ina, o lo o tausi mai le a tua i a te o tou, pei ona tausi i a talii. Wa o aise a talii ua le a oa ina e lona tama. Ai a fai e au noa o tou ma le a oa ina, mo tofu si a e le fa anau uma lava, o tama to i fale o tou, ai le ni a talii. Wa a fo i sa i a te i ta tou tama o ta tou tino e na oa i mai i a i ta tou, Sa tato fa alongo i ai, ai le si li ea i se a o na tato usi usi ta ai ile te ma o tato wa mana, tato te o la ai. O le mana i ale fai upule e fa ama natu ai a te o ele tangata fa atua tua, i le va o lua ma le atua le te ma, e le o i tato o ni tama to i fale, a o tama fa nau a, e i ai la le te mea oa o i nai o e ele atua le te ma. Na o ise ta maa e lea lofa, le fa me i fai puna fitu, a fai e ta lia e o tou le a oa inga, o lo o tausi mai le a tua i a te o tou, pei ona tausi i a ta li. Ie e mana tua, o le vaa o lua ma le a tua le ta maa, e a oa inga i ta tou, pei o i ta tou, o lana fana oa. Alta, if we can read those verses for us, please. Five to nine. You read strong, strong. In you have forgotten the exhortation which is addressed to you as sons. My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor faint when you are reproved by him. For those whom the Lord loves he disciplines, and he scourges every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you endure. God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. <laughs> Furthermore, we had earthly fathers to discipline us, and we respected them. Shall we not much rather be subject to the Father of Spirits and live? That's an amazing description of the relationship that we have with God the Father. That not only he loves us, but that he also reproves us. Uh, that we will find ourselves in situations where God will take us down a path in which he will use that to continue to reprove us and reprove us according to his will. Especially us as believers. Uh, so um, today's study has been, you know, it's, it's been an insight as to who God the Father is. So we now understand that he is the first person of the Trinity. He is God creator. He is ruler of all things. You know that he is creator uh, through from creation, through the providence, through the redemption. He is ruler of all. But the last part is that we understand that his fatherhood, ah, that not only is he the father to all men and the fact that he created mankind and the human race, but he is the father, the spiritual father, to all believers. O ia o le tama, ia te ita tō uma, o e te tōmi, e i la te mea o a o i nei o e a, e i te mea te ilo ai ua, a oa o mai le atua, ina ia whaatonu tōmi pea, 
Otatowala. And so I, I finish off today's study with First John three, um, verse one. Fa ibinam tato mata upo fa tato ili atua litema ili mo mo na liyoane mata upo tolo fa ipo mo mo fa uta ili sifsili ole alofa wofo ina mai ele tema ya te itato ina uata uwa itato ole fa nau ali atua ole mea lea le lei loai itato ele la lulangi. Awa na le loa moya. I am mafo fau in the in the city city. Ese ole alo fa ole atua. Le wo ta ua ita atu wo fa na wo le atua. I am mafo fau iya. Ele loa ele na lo langi le atua le tama. Na awa na la to le loa moya. First John three verse one reads: Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us. That we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know Him. You know, when you're walking through your journey of faith and you think that the world does not recognize who you are in the things of the Lord, be reminded that He says there, bestow what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. That's the privilege. That's the most humbling privilege that we have to be known as children of God and to be able to say that we know the God and who is our Father. Praise the Lord. So there's a study there. Again, it's not an exhaustive study, but it's a study that can introduce you to the study of who the first person of the Trinity is. Ah, that he is the first person of the Trinity, that he is God creator, that he is the ruler of all things. But also he is our father. He is Abba. Um, so Lela Watato Malam Lama in the Perisona Mua Mua Ole Atua Tom Taspa Ia Oia Ole La Faya Mea Uma Pule Mea Uma A Oia Foi O Lo Tato Tama. Praise the Lord. Let us pray uh, for the end of uh, our study tonight uh, and then we'll go into a time of fellowship. Fafte Tele Tama in the Nia Fiafi. E mawa lunga lava lovi ina awa lo ya te ima to lau upu moni. Father, we come before you and as we, even calling on your name, Lord, we're reminded today that you showed your grace toward us, that you would give us the right to be children of God, that we no longer have the spirit of fear, but the spirit to be able to cry out, Abba, Father. We thank you once again for the scriptures that allows us to get, gain insight into who you are as God, that you are the eternal uh, triune uh, Godhead, that you are God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we praise you tonight for this wonderful time of edification as part of the body of believers. In Jesus' name we pray this prayer. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. yeah.